In this week's Know Your Nonprofit, we're featuring the Alzheimer's Association. They are part of the North Dakota Association of Nonprofit Organizations, and Melanie Gaby with the Alzheimer's Association is joining us now. First of all, thank you so much for being here today, Melanie. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity. Well, tell us a little bit about your mission with the Alzheimer's Association. Absolutely. So the Alzheimer's Association is really driving the world towards not having Alzheimer's or dementia mm -hmm. anymore. That's our real vision, is a world where we don't have to worry about these things. And so we're doing that by leading the way in research, driving early detection and risk reduction opportunities, providing quality care and support for everybody who's impacted by the disease, and my special role, advocating for policies and funding to make sure we can still do all of those things. Right. So important and everyone knows someone who's been impacted by mm -hmm. Alzheimer's or dementia. You mentioned the support available in North Dakota. We want to highlight that for those living with Alzheimer's and or dementia and of course their caregivers. Can you talk with us about some of the support that is available that you wish for more people maybe even knew about? Absolutely. Uh, in North Dakota, we're very lucky. We have a team across the state where we're able to provide education both to the community and to professionals. So to long-term care providers, doctors, public health associations, the whole works. Uh, we also provide uh, care consultations, which is a fairly special thing in the state. Our staff is available to go in person or virtually to visit with people who are having some concerns, caregivers especially, to help them work through even planning what comes next. Yeah. Because this disease looks different day to day. And how do you help? How do you work through that? Well, how can people get involved? Thank you for asking. Uh, we have a number of different opportunities. Uh, one of them, we actually just finished our last walk to end Alzheimer's mm -hmm. in Grand Forks this weekend. Uh, we had great turnout throughout the state. We're still pushing towards our goals. We haven't quite hit them across the state yet. So if people would still like to donate, they can go to alz.org slash walk and donate to their local community. And then there's always opportunities joining me with advocacy and being a volunteer community educator or support group facilitator. What can you tell us about what you're excited about right now as far as any policy or any breakthroughs, you know, to do with Alzheimer's? Yes, uh, one of the things I'm most excited about is the fact that we truly have hope now where even five years ago, we didn't have treatments that would change and slow the progression of this disease. We have those now. We have two FDA approved treatments and we've got about 24 more, I believe, in the pipeline. Uh, we're also funding 1,100 research projects in 56 countries to advance that uh, treatment as well as risk reduction because what's that old saying an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure <laughs> right yeah. uh, I think that really applies here for anyone who has a recent diagnosis and you know, it's this scary new world that they're entering into what advice do you have for them for their loved ones as they're taking that first step toward finding out their care journey yes uh, I, I think the first thing is it's overwhelming mm -hmm. and we know it's overwhelming but please know that you don't ever have to go through this alone. We're here to support caregivers, we're here to support people living with all types of dementia and just get a hold of us. Mm -hmm. uh, your doctor has packets and has availability to refer uh, to our association and we'll be there to help all the way along the journey from the start to whenever you don't need us anymore. We'll be there to help. As you mentioned, the walks happening yes, across the state, yes. um, a huge gathering for so many people, almost a reunion, I would imagine. <laughs> what has been your you know, biggest takeaway from being involved in these community walks um, to raise awareness about Alzheimer's? I think the biggest takeaway is that, that idea that we really aren't alone. There are so many people impacted by this disease in one way or another. And I think in a world where we're all told that we're divided, we're all different, we have so many things that we don't agree on, to see people from absolutely every walk of life that you can imagine coming together to support people living with this disease and their caregivers and being those caregivers, it is, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Uh, and so it's, 
very uplifting and hopeful experience. Beautiful. Melanie, thank you so much for being with us today. Yes, thank you. This has been Know Your Nonprofit. And for more information on the North Dakota Association of Nonprofit Organizations or NADANO, their website is ndano.org. You can also see their Facebook page and their phone number listed right there on your screen. We'll see